Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. In this one I'll be going through some of the details of my Jasmine costume and if you stick around to this timestamp um, there will be a giveaway as well for some of the supplies and materials that I have left over from Jasmine and I no longer want. Um, if you are interested in just the giveaway uh, feel free to skip ahead to that timestamp. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing close up details of the Jasmine costume, uh, keep on watching. So, here I've got some footage of how the back of the pants actually close. Um, I know that I have a video up on my channel already about how I put the Jasmine costume on, but you don't get to see this close up um, as to like where the hooks and eyes are. On the pants. So you can see that there were two hooks and eyes, or hooks and bars, sorry, uh, for the main layers, uh, which are the organza and the cotton. Um, and then there's another closure on top of that for the main fashion fabric. And then finally, a hook and eye over the very top for the final organza layer. So that's all of the layers combined closed um, at the back there. Um, and here's the front, so yeah, not that neat of a job, but all of this is hidden by the bodice anyway, so it doesn't matter that it doesn't look that great. <laughs> so moving down towards the bottom of the pants, here you can see the hem of the pants, and um, oh, that's that's stuck on the mannequin. Okay, the, the other the other leg I can lift. Cool. So here's a, a look inside. Um, at my stitching along the hem of one of the pant legs. Very messy stitching. Um, a lot of this had to be hand sewn um, because it was just too big and puffy to fit under the machine. I did try to use the machine um, as much as I possibly could, but there were some areas where it was just impossible. So those are the pants. Moving on to the bodice now. Um, all, again, like this bodice was shown in my past video about getting ready in my Jasmine costume, but you didn't get to see it um, up close and personal like you get to see here. So it has a jacket zipper, at least what I call a jacket zipper, um, but it's one of those zippers that comes undone at the bottom, um, and that way I can easily put, well not easily, but I can put the bodice on um, with less of a struggle if the if the zipper didn't open completely. You can see that underneath the bodice fabric there is a is it's it's an inbuilt corset um, and that usually has lacing but my lacing was taken out um, because it's being used in an, in another costume. Up the top of the bodice I've got those little snap popper button things um, and that's where the cape attaches to the bodice. So this bodice doesn't fit my dress form, but this just this just shows um, roughly how it how it looks <laughs> um, when put on. So you can see that the lacing would go through there, and then once that's all laced up, the actual bodice can zip over the top to hide the lacing. And usually with the laces, I will tuck that in in and around underneath the corset. All the way to the front to evenly distribute the, the lacing. So here is a quick look at the back. Obviously I can't lace this up um, but I'm, I'm sure you can imagine how this would be um, when it is laced up. And you can see that there are still raw edges along the inside. Um, these have actually been really good in that they haven't frayed too much or anything. Um, it is just cotton so that's great. Here's a closer look at the front. So we've got the sleeves um, and then along the shoulders we've got the uh, beading which has been hand sewn. So that trim has been hand sewn. All of the trim apart from the like the big fat gold pieces of trim um, have been hand sewn to the, to the bodice. So all of the beaded trim has been hand sewn. Um, and then the majority of the other trim was glued because there's no way that <laughs> and you can see my, my mess of a, the glue mishap I had just underneath the the bust cup there but it's um it's pretty well disguised and um, if you watch my making of videos you'll see uh, 
what actually happened and how I fixed it or disguised it as best I could. Um, so yeah, that is the bodice. Moving on to the cape now. So the cape is made from organza and chiffon and at the top it's just got the same sort of material as the bodice and it's got those snap popper press stud things um, and this is how it attaches to the top of the bodice. So the reason I did this is so I'm able to put the cape on myself and I could detach it if I was getting annoyed by the cape or you know if I just didn't want to wear my cape for some reason but most of the time I wear it because it's really fun. Um, here is how the cape looks well hang on I am <laughs> sometimes the the glue that I used on the cape gets a bit stuck um, if I haven't brought this costume out of storage in quite a while um, and I just need to unstick those but for the most part it's pretty good but here is how the cape looks when uh, lifted up so there are these little finger loops on the uh, on the edges of the cape oh there's just me being silly <laughs> but yeah you can see what I mean by the cape is really fun here we go um, you can see the inside of the cape and oh there there are the finger loops so yep I can slip my fingers through there to hold the cape up and all along the inside of the cape I used glitter and glue to create those peacock feathers now we have a close-up of some of my jasmine accessories so I've got the necklace there which I bought from eBay um, and I painted it Here's the beautiful tiara that my sister kindly made for me. It's made out of EVA foam and it's got simple uh, combs, plastic combs in the side there to slot that into my hair. Here we have the veil and the little hair clips that my sister again made for me. And she also stuck all of the rhinestones on this piece of chiffon as well. And also a bag. Um, and this bag was entirely hand sewn because I did make this bag at a time where I did not have a sewing machine um, So I did have to do it all by hand and here are my other earrings that I wear um, When I do my jasmine dance because the jasmine earrings are very heavy and I don't like wearing them when I dance But I like them for photos So these are all of the supplies that I have left over from the making of my jasmine costume and I don't ever want to look at them again. I've had enough sequins and glitter um, and, you know, jasmine stuff. <laughs> um, so I am looking to get rid of this stuff and um, hopefully provide these things with a new home and um, they'll be used by whoever receives them um, in whatever costumes or um, garments or, or whatever it is that you want to make. So I'll just quickly go through what I've actually got here. Um, and this giveaway is open internationally and it's basically one winner and the winner will receive all of these goodies here. So first up, we've got um, some sparkly blue sequin fabric. This was used for the peacock feathers on Jasmine's cape and pants. We've got some different sparkles here. We've got gold, um, blue and a darker blue so those were all used on the inside of Jasmine's cape for her peacock feathers here we've got some pearl powder pigment this is a super pretty teal color and this was what was used to um, paint the jewels that teal color um, here we've got some sequins which were never touched um, I was considering uh, hand sewing the sequins onto the, the dress or the costume, but um, I decided that using glitter would be the easier option. It is more messy, but it was the faster approach. We've also got some acrylic turquoise paint over here that was actually mixed in with the pearl powder pigment to paint any of those jewels. Um, we've got some leftover jewels and bits and bobs in this uh, plastic thingy. Um, you can see We've got some tiny crystals which were used for her hair pieces. 
We've got some rhinestones in behind there, which were, those were actually stuck all over her cape and pants. Um, I think there's a thousand of them in that little packet. We've got various colored flowers. Um, those were used to decorate Jasmine's tiara. Um, these two shapes here are foam pieces that my sister made um, and decided not to use. And we've got an, an earring piece here. I don't know why there's just one earring piece, but there is. <laughs> um, and then finally, I've got these two little clip-on earrings. Um, like that. I was actually going to use these on the bodice, um, but then I decided against it. They have been painted. They were originally a green color. Um, yeah, and then finally, uh, we've just got some, I don't even know what to call this, gold trim stuff. Um, there's not much of it, but I thought I would include it in this package. All you need to do to enter is head over to my Instagram account and share one of my Jasmine posts, either in your stories or as a repost. Make sure to tag me so I can enter you into the draw. A winner will be selected at random one week from now and this giveaway is open internationally. And if you um, are wanting to look at um, how some of these supplies were used, I've got a whole journey of the making of Jasmine up on my website. So do make sure to check out that so you can see uh, more behind the scenes type content as to how uh, some of these items were used in my Jasmine costume. So that's it for this video. Please follow me on Instagram if you want to see more photos of my work. Um, I do have my website as well if you're curious about um, patterns that I've used for Jasmine, um, anything like that. So yeah, that's it. I will see you in next week's video. Bye for now.